Hello everybody. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. I hope you're having a lovely day. It's a nice sunny day here today. Everyone's asleep except me. I'm up early uh, and I have been reading your comments and they're, they're just fantastic. And every time I, oh, thought provoking and obviously does provoke videos. I think at least one person said perhaps not talk about them, give them airspace. I get where you're coming from when people say that, but unfortunately I see it more and more in my everyday life that people believe that lying um, and being dishonest works and it does and they get rewarded and the pinnacle of society is the royal family and there's Meghan and she's doing da 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 and these people think oh that's good I can do that too because I'm going to win like she wins and gets rewarded so I can't not talk about it because there are everyday things in life. I mean, it's one thing people having an Instagram account, putting a filter over themselves, but that's where it sort of began. It's good to project yourself as something that you're completely not. It is a form of deception. Now, I wanna start by saying I'm not perfect, I'm a sinner, because a lot of you have pointed out that he's the head of the Church of England, Charles that is, and so is Her Late Majesty, and I totally agree. I'm a sinner, I am the last person to cast aspersions, but firstly, I'm not the monarch. I don't live in palaces and castles. I'm not the head of the Church of England. Secondly, I'm not asking for punishment, retribution, hellfire and brimstone to rain down. My massive, massive thing was the edit on the website. And I'm gonna keep repeating that throughout this video because the edit on the website is the king's seal of approval. It is a celebration. It's not just a simple edit. Now, I bought my daughter this for Christmas. This is one of these seal kits. And uh, is there good fun? And in the olden days, that was the king or queen's seal of approval. And there are, as I've mentioned before, lots of legalities and pedantics where documents are signed in a particular way and sealed. But in this day and age, the royal, official royal family website is the king's seal of approval. And that is how it has been seen by Meghan, whether Charles realises that or not. And he probably actually doesn't realise. Being a man of a different generation, I believe he doesn't have a mobile phone, He's not into technical things, perhaps. He doesn't realise and understand that. There's no taking it back now. It's been edited. It's been put out there. It should never have been edited. Now, I've made a lot of notes <laughs> because I've paid a lot of attention to things that all of you have said. So I'll work my way through. So it's a bit more organised. Um, there is one person who keeps commenting, saying they can't understand what I'm getting at in any of my videos. I'm pissed off that they edited the website to add the prince and princess. That was an endorsement. That is what has pissed me off. I'm sorry if I can't be clearer than that. A lot of you have said, have I watched River? Yes, I watched River last night. I adore River. I absolutely adore River. I found his video last night very edit heavily edited. Um, and really... It didn't convince me. I didn't find any comfort in it at all. He was basically saying that if Charles hadn't have endorsed the Prince and Princess titles, it would play into the hands of the racists. Well, I'm sorry, I don't care. I don't care about that any more than I do the way that the knee-jerk kangaroo court happened to Lady Susan Hussey. And I see that Marlene Hadley, Marlene Sidley, whatever she's called, is back on the TV. That apology wasn't grovelling enough. It wasn't good enough. That's exactly what's going to happen. So I didn't find River's explanation. And also talking about letters patent all the time. All right, I have said more than once, pedantics, legal pedantics, dotting I's. That is not what's going on in this day and age. That website, I cannot emphasise for me, that was huge. That is not just an endorsement, it's a celebration. And that is how it's been seen by Marie Antoinette, who I see is out at some fancy restaurant. Um, oh, not now, <laughs> spam call for Graham. Um, she's out, been out at some fancy restaurant, 
yes, there's a charity she was helping that helps homeless mothers who are pregnant. And I applaud that. That's great. But she's dressed up to the nine. She's not exactly getting down and dirty. She's got a grin like a Cheshire cat. It is giving in to bullying and blackmail. Oh, give me the titles or I'm going to call you racist. Um, so the website edit is not a little thing. I did watch Lady C as well yesterday. Now, I think firstly, Lady C ed uh, does her videos a day before. So I don't think that she had seen the website had been updated at the point that she did her video that I watched yesterday. Um, because she didn't mention that much of it. And she was sort of in the same frame of mind that I was the day before of, you know, there could be things going on behind the scenes. Um, and I'm sure there are things going on behind the scenes. We hear this all the time. There are reasons, there are things going on behind the scenes. But then there's the public persona. And that's where the website comes into it. By all means, have things go on behind the scenes. No problem at all. Don't put it on the website. So, yeah, I wait. And it's all very well for people to say, um, not, not you guys, but critics to say, you know, what does it matter? Well, it matters because there's the king of Silicon Valley out there, Prince Harry. He had Christopher Boozy on his Netflix documentary. They both did. They had editorial control over that. And they had that online bully, Christopher Boozy, on there. The same Christopher Boozy that bullied my friend Wally, our friend Wally. Uh, Trevor Colt is still demonetized. I, I, I really wish I, there are things I really wish I could tell you. There are members of the royal family who are lording it over us on YouTube and on the internet in general. How many of you out there have been bullied online by sugars? How many people have been doxxed? People in the real world have been treated appallingly. I do not want to see the King's Seal or an endorsement, again, I emphasize, on the website. <laughs> um, I can't believe how many times I've written the website, the website. People are losing basic freedoms, basic human rights, right to free speech. Now, in America, you've got the First Amendment, haven't you? So people should not be allowed to take away your free speech. How many people have been blocked, banned on Twitter who are American? At the behest, perhaps, of Prince Harry and his friends, or online, or any online uh, bullying campaign, to silence people. Thou shalt worship Meghan Markle. Thou no less will do. So again, I reiterate, I do not want to see an endorsement on the royal website. That could have waited. That could have waited. <sighs> um, I don't believe in giving in to them because of allegations of racism. I think that was the problem with Lady Susan Hussey. And then it all came out within less than 24 hours that Ngazi Fulani or whatever she was saying she was called is actually Marlene Headley. But if they had waited like the late Queen would have waited, that might have come out. Um, now, this brings me to another point about the website. It reminds me a lot of when Diana died and everybody wanted the flag lowered over Buckingham Palace, even though the monarch wasn't there. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, and I'm, I'm sure most of you do, when the monarch is in residence, the flag flies. I believe it's the royal standard. When the monarch is not in residence, the flag is completely lowered. When a monarch dies, the flag is flown at half mast. Now, according to my husband, who was in the army, and his, one of his jobs was to fly flags, um, half mast is something like one and a half flag widths from the top of the pole. Now, there was huge resistance. And when I was studying law, the part that made me give up studying law because it wasn't clear was constitutional law. And they brought this subject up of the flying of the flag at Diana's death. Now, there was big resistance from the palace because of pedantics, t dotting I's and crossing T's. And the public got angrier and angrier and angrier until they succumbed. <laughs> now, I'm not sure what the flag was i can't remember which flag it was they flew over buckingham palace at half mast supposedly half mast but i think it might have been the union flag and not the royal standard i'm not sure so to the public it appeared the flag was being flown at half mast and that did the trick to anyone who knew about the legal pedantics 
Graham, for example, said that flag wasn't half mast. It should have been higher up the pole, but doesn't matter. It was an indication from the sovereign. I understand that the public want this. And so we will offer you this. And again, that website, I mean, that just all it required was inaction. Just in, just leave it as it was until things have been resolved in weeks or months to come. Because for the public, well, I don't know, I can't speak for anyone else. I can only speak for me. It just looks like bad behaviour, being rewarded and rewarded and rewarded, or worse, blackmail, bullying. Oh, let's get those racist allegations off our back. It doesn't really smell of integrity. A lot of you have said, why do I hate Charles? Why am I attacking Charles? I don't hate Charles. I don't know Charles. And I, what I would say to anybody is I'm questioning him. I'm questioning his character to be a monarch. And to those that think that I need to worship him a little more, isn't that a lot like Meghan? Thou shalt worship Charles. Thou cannot say a word of criticism against him. Um, it, it, it does sound like it. Camilla, I haven't said a word about Camilla. She's not the monarch. What can she do? She's his wife. She can talk to him. She can have influence. But it doesn't mean that she has any power over this at all. He should never have married Diana, really, in the first place, should he? He should have put his foot down and said no, but he didn't. And that's good because we wouldn't have William and Harry. But he should have really have married the woman he loved in the first place, shouldn't he? Instead of trying to appease. Um... And the last thing I'd say is it's much harder to take titles away than it is to give them. I just can't see it. And I'm not sure I'd even support the idea of removing titles. Just be careful who you give them to in the first place. Um, it will be very hard. I mean, then he will come under criticism. If he were to edit the website back now, he would come under huge criticism. He should just not have done it in the first place. And I mean, I did see River saying, oh, well, the Queen wasn't there editing the website. Of course she's not. They have web developers. They have a team. The King isn't editing the website, but he, the, the monarch gives the say-so. Or did the monarch give the say-so? Perhaps Charles didn't give the say-so, doesn't know anything about it. Perhaps a different head will roll, but that website should not have been updated. I don't care about pedantics because, yes, we can have legalities and we can have rules and all that, but when it comes to the royal family, when unusual circumstances crop up and there is public sentiment, that must always supersede pedantics and legalities. So I don't really like hearing another word about letters patent of this, that and the other or being given legal lectures on that particular area of law. Um, I am a web developer. I know how quickly it can be done. I mean, years ago when I wrote to the Queen, I went to the post office up Main Street in Jib. And the girl behind the counter wouldn't take the letter. She said, I can't take the letter. It's not like the Queen's going to come downstairs and sign for a recorded delivery in her hairnet and curlers. And I said, of course she won't. That's why she has staff to do that. And they will pass the letter on. And I had to have quite a row with the girl before she finally accepted my recorded delivery to send to the Queen. And yes, the Queen did reply. <coughs> a very careful, thought out, well-measured reply, I might hasten to add and actually fixed the problem that I'd written to her about in the first place. Um, I don't want to see baying lynch mobs after Charles, but I'll end with my final comment. That website should not have been edited. Look at the cat that got the cream. Look at the Cheshire cat. Oh, and see what, what actions follow in the days, weeks and months to come. You'll see, you'll see. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for listening. I'll get back to reading your comments. And I hope you all have a fabulous day, um, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Don't let it bring you down too much. I know it's hard because I see it all the time, all around me in real life, in the media. Mainstream media don't tell the truth. People get rewarded for bad behaviour all the time. And uh, that's coming from me. And I've been really naughty in the past. And I've been on the receiving end of a ton of shit. Some deserved and some completely undeserved. But my God, I don't believe I've ever done perjury. Oh, sorry, misremembered. See you below.